Today's review is a ghost story by Stephen King entitled Bag of Bones. This story was published in 1998 and it was the recipient of both the Bram Stoker Award for Best Novel of 98 and the British Fantasy Award for Best Novel of 1999. In Bag of Bones, we are introduced to Mike Noonan, who is a semi-successful professional novel writer. And Mike is dealing with the death of his wife, Jo, an unexpected death. And in an attempt to deal with the grief involved with her death, he decides to go to his summer vacationing home that he has not visited in some years to write a novel and just chill and experience life and try to become more well from his growing depression. While vacationing and living his life, he unexpectedly saves a little girl from being hit by a car outside of a convenience store and is drawn into the lives of Maddie and Kyra. Kyra is a three-year-old little girl and Maddie, her mother, is involved in a fierce custody battle with her very, very rich um, stepfather. Maddie is a widow, and due to being poor, she really isn't in the best position to battle this um, computer business module, if you will. And Mike, now involved, having some money of his own, being a semi-successful novel writer, decides to fund this battle on behalf of Maddie. And that is the main plot in Bag of Bones. It is ultimately a story about a custody battle. There are some ghost parts in it as well. Um, the land is haunted by a woman who was brutalized and murdered on that piece of land some decades previous. And the ghost part's kind of unique, I think. It's a unique story, but ultimately this novel, in my opinion, was too long. I had to push through the novel, and if it weren't for wanting to review this novel, I don't think I would have finished it. I think King could have shortened this novel by maybe a hundred pages, and I really wish that that the ghost part was the main plot in this. I knew it was a ghost story before I picked it up, and that was kind of what made me want to read it. I was disappointed in the fact that at the heart of this story, it's not a ghost story. Um, it was well written, but I just don't recommend this one. I would say Stephen King's Bag of Bones, do not read. <laughs>